Hey guys, Will Crane here from PT Final Exam here today talking to you about the new blood pressure guidelines on the NPT. These were updated in 2018 and are continuing here on through 2019 when I'm recording this. And I just wanted to give you a little bit of background and help you put this in context of how it could be tested on the NPT. So just a brief outline of what the changes were. So before the changes, and I don't want to present the changes, I don't want to confuse you with all the numbers, but essentially before all this happened, there was normal, prehypertensive, and hypertensive. I mean, there were just the three categories. And the American College of Cardiology and the American Heart Association both came up with these updated guidelines with the idea to be able to help mitigate and reduce coronary risk. Uh, so for instance, talking coronary artery disease, heart attacks, strokes, clots, all of the, the different risks that are associated with high blood pressure. And so in order to mitigate those risks, the American College of Cardiology and the American Heart Association teamed up and they put together these new blood pressure guidelines, which have been adopted and accepted pretty much uni universally across the system. And so just to outline these classification guidelines, normal is now classified as having both a 120 and, or being under 120 and under 80 on your systolic and diastolic blood pressures. Remember, this is an and here. So if, if you are below 120 over 80, you are considered normal. So 120 over 80, normal. Elevated, this is the new category. To be elevated, you are between 129, 120 and 129, and you are below 80 millimeters of mercury. So this just means that you're elevated on the top end, slightly elevated, maybe a concern, but not probably not treatable yet, just a concern being watched. And then once you get into the stage one hypertension, this is where you have a blood pressure, systolic blood pressure of over 130, over 139, or this is the big key, or a blood pressure over 80 on your diastolic blood pressure. So that's a big key here, this or. Over 130, between 130 to 139, or 80 to 89. And then stage two hypertension, which is the most severe, is where you are above 140 on your systolic, or you are above 90 on your diastolic blood pressure. So again, the idea here is just to point out that you are at an elevated risk, the higher your blood pressure goes, and the new guidelines involve this or. All right, so with that, I crafted a, a practice question for you. And so go ahead and pause the video if you want to stop and try to answer this on your own. Uh, I will just explain it as we go. So please pause if you wish. A 45-year-old patient comes to physical therapy and vital measurements are taken. The following data is reported in the chart. Blood pressure, 116 over 86. Temperature, 98.7 degrees Fahrenheit. 98 beats per minute on your pulse and the numeric pain rating scale of 3 out of 10. So which of the following assertions is most correct regarding these vital measurements? So the options are we have the patient is febrile or they have a fever or they're feverish or they have an elevated body temperature. The patient has stage one hypertension, the patient is tachycardic, or all measurements are within normal limits. Now, probably this is the most, this would be the most popular incorrect answer. All measurements are within normal limits because as you can see, this blood pressure of over 80 on the bottom, just to go back to our guidelines here for a moment, remember to be at stage one hypertension, you have this or between 80 and 89 on your diastolic blood pressure. So this person has stage one hypertension. So we go to the correct answer. Patient has stage one hypertension. So according to the recent update, the blood, a patient that presents with blood pressure of 130 to 139, or that's the big key here, or, or, or 80 to 89 millimeters of mercury is classified as having stage one hypertension. And just as a reference, you can come and check this out over at APTA.org. Anyway, thanks so much for playing, guys. Really appreciate it. Hope you'll go over and check out PT Final Exam for all of our other great stuff, ptfinalexam.com. We run courses all the time. Great resource to help you prepare for the NPT. We try to make it fun, intuitive, and clear, and just make it make the best of a sometimes unpleasant experience. So we try to have a lot of fun and get you through the NPT. So peace out. Have a great day, guys. Will Crane fist pump all around.